Hey there and welcome to another Fortnite action figure review video. Today we are taking a look at the 4 inch Ultima Knight action figure from Jazzwares. He is in the brand new hot drop package and this will replace the previous, re previous released early game survival kits that had, you know, we've seen them before with Omega, with Vendetta, AIM, and The Visitor. What they've done is they've taken out some of the building material and replaced them with some extra guns. We still get the glider, we still get the harvesting tool, the back bling, and at least one gun. So they just swapped out a few things. And this display, this packaging, the whole thing, it's all changed and different. It really looks cool. It pops to me. Uh, there's this graphic up here, and I really like the gradient of color back here from kind of the yellow to a light blue. This this is just a very appealing package to me, and I can't wait to rip it open. No, I'm just kidding. Just open it up and get the figure out because that's what I like the most. Let's take a quick peek at the back. We have the Ultima Knight, and there is his card art. Get the last word. But I'm going to get the last word. Um, oh, and here's the cross sale. The current solo mode figures and the previous early game survival kit, Vendetta, is still being advertised. Unfortunately, Amazon didn't uh, quite uh, deliver mine. Very nice. I've got this nice crack across the top. But oh well. It's not a big deal when I'm opening up the package. Let's go. Ultima Knight is now out of the package. A little bit of quick information. The Ultima Knight was released in the Season 10 Battle Pass at Tier 100. He is a legendary skin in the game. And yeah, you could only get this guy during that Battle Pass from Season... Well, maybe it's called Season X. I get confused if it's 10 or if it's X. This is the gold style. There are a couple different styles for him. So I'm glad they chose this one. This is a, a really cool looking Ultima Knight. He's got all this gear, so why don't we just kind of take a look at it here real quick. He comes with his harvesting tool, the Vanquisher. Look at the block on this thing. Would you want to be on the receiving end of this? Thud. He comes with his back bling, the Dragon Quest. That is cool. That silver and red and gold. Flip it around, there's the peg. I wonder if he could hold this like a shield or if it's just meant to be a back bling. He comes with the palm leaf umbrella, something that you'd get in game uh, for a season eight victory royale. That's really cool. There's the handle. It's a handle we've seen before. And anyway, this is really neat. Uh, you're getting sleepy. Actually, don't fall asleep. Let's rewind that. He comes with the drum gun and a new weapon called the automatic sniper rifle. Well, I think it's new. The pump shotgun, which is another new weapon we haven't seen before. A harpoon gun. I guess fish stick had better watch out. And a proximity grenade launcher. We've not seen this one before either. This one is brand new. All right, let's take a look at his articulation. I already see a few hindrances, but let's see if they're really actually a hindrance. His head will rotate all the way around. He can look down and become like a rhino. Roar! He can look up. That's for sure. He can roll his arms all the way around, but can he lift them? Well, his right one will go about that far. This squishes, this is soft rubber, both these pieces, so is his uh, waist area. And he could probably go up about that far. You go any further, this might rip off. The left arm can actually crank up about that far, but it squishes all this stuff. And you do that too many times, there's a possibility that you could damage or rip that off. And you would be very sad, especially someday in the future when this figure is not available anymore. His elbows will rotate all the way around. It takes just a little bit of work because of the armor piece right there. He also can bend his elbows. And it's not the 90 degree that some people like. But you know what? I think they work for what you need them to. The wrists rotate all the way around. And there's the lovely regular hinge on the wrist. He does have a really nice torso wiggle so he can groove and jam and dance. Dun, 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 dun. His waist will also rotate around just in case you want to do something weird like that. Now here's the next set of hindrance or the next uh, bit of hindrance I believe. He could sit 
maybe or maybe not so this is going to hinder his sitting ability and his splitting ability he can't do the splits and he can't really but he can lose a leg he can do the hat <laughs> we'll snap it back on you didn't realize there was like a ghost in this armor right so you know anything can drop off any time and he's fine his thighs will rotate around the my left one is a little bit tougher than the right one he's got the double pin knees and they bend well like double pin knees and his ankles for the final rotation will rotate and they do hinge and as some figures they've got that little bit of a creaky crack to it so he's not too bad you could probably rip this guy apart like so take this part off let's see how he looks without the waist coat yeah there we go so he you could do this to him then he can do the splits then he could kind of sit down he looks uncomfortable doesn't he so you could do that so this is kind of removable and if you like him like this i mean he's he doesn't look bad at all you know he's still he actually looks like a knight that's a little bit more ready for battle this looks more like maybe ceremonial i understand there are casings and bullets and pouches and and other stuff but anyway let's pop him apart and slide this back on make him look complete make him a complete knight is that a thing a complete knight it's all night anyway so there we have the ultimate knight he looks really really awesome you know jazz wears your figures they just get better and better I reviewed a soccer player the other day and I can't believe how much I like the soccer player and I'm just talking because I'm trying to get this guy to stand <laughs> I'll get him to there we go I'll get him to stand one at some point <laughs> all right let's see how he looks with his gear here he is all geared up and you won't you know you just might need a figure stand with this guy now this vanquisher is so heavy it was very difficult to get him to stand up as you can see all right so it's actually kind of i just kind of thought about all these gold guns okay there's three of them matches his gold quite well so he holds his stuff really well that's a little heavy but you know what i guess when you're gonna clunk somebody or break down a house or a bridge or break apart a car you need to you know, have something big and sturdy and heavy he's got his back bling on looking quite nice there and i didn't try to see if it would work as a shield i don't know i kind of like this set right here this gun will set you there you're like an egg beater here or a, a waffle smasher I don't know. that's a that is a thing I like this gun I think it works with him quite well some of these others he's he doesn't look like a drum gun kind of guy to me and you know fishing's something special and I really didn't like the looks of this thing in his hand didn't even try it I like this one this proximity grenade launcher I think it works and looks really cool I didn't put in his hand the umbrella which actually doesn't necessarily belong to him it belongs to every skin that you own and there he is he's it's a i'll tell you this it's a lot lighter than that thing so anyway this is the ultimate knight and he is really cool and he is really really awesome he's only 15 bucks he's fi uh, what five bucks cheaper than the early game survival kits you know and you get a lot of gear with it i recommend getting this guy picking him up maybe get a couple for customizing if you like to customize as an adult action figure collector but this is a great figure highly recommend it thank you for stopping by and watching if you liked it please get that thumbs up button for me and if you really enjoyed it and want to be notified of more of these types of videos hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon and you will be notified when i drop more of these and there are a lot more to come because there is a lot more stuff that they've just released and i've got just about all of it so we will see you in the next video have a wonderful day